Hello uh, and welcome to my channel. So today we will be understanding like how to configure a risk assessment which is out of the box risk assessment uh, which is provided to us from ServiceNow and add our own set of questions to the risk assessment form and how we can use the out of the box functionality where we can uh, where we can extend our approach uh, towards calculation of risk based on a set of uh, based on the set of uh, uh, set of questions and the and their answers in the form of assessment now as we all know that this there are two ways in which the service now providers where we can calculate our risk for any change management into the baseline system one is a plugin based approach. Let's say if you don't have any plugins installed, this there will be a risk conditions approach, which I will be covering in the later sessions. But today I will be explaining you a plugin based approach for which amazing uh, Brad service now has provided us an amazing plugin where based on the assessment form, we can calculate our risk. And for this, we require one of the plugin, which is com.snc or change management or risk assessment. So first step that you have to uh, download or install this plugin into your personal developer instance. Next, you can see if you next once this plugin get installed, you can see risk assessment uh, module under the change and administration, a risk assessment menu under the change module. So if I just open the risk assessment, service now default give us a change risk assessment out of the box. Now, if I just go to any change form, change form based on the assessment provided into our assessment categories. So what do I mean by assessment category and what do I mean by change risk assessment? So this change is assessment to be triggered uh, via a UI action which is known as risk assessment into the related links tab and the UI action will be dis will will trigger based on this uh, the UI action will trigger the change in risk assessment category which includes all the questions based on the filter condition under the change risk assessment uh, table which we have provided to them. So, and also this has to be in a state of published state. And this assessment will have a set of questions. For, uh, so let me show you the baseline feature of that. So th this is what my assessment metric category, which for my change risk assessment category looks like. I have a default weight here and I have a total metrics, total on, on based on this five metrics, this will get calculated. Okay, so now and each of these metrics will have a scale from low, which is one will be considered as a low and four will be considered as the high. So from one to four, this scale will get calculated. And once calculated, we define the threshold. So let's say if I have a low risk for all the values greater than zero and less than six, it will be identified as a low. For all the values moderate, if it is greater than 6 and less than 11, it will be uh, moderate. And if it and for high, if it is greater than 11. So this is what my baseline feature gives to me. But now, based on the one of the use case, I will be presenting in front of you and explaining you how with the help of this out of the box approach, we can calculate, we can create our own set of assessment uh, and how we can add our own set of questions which we have uh, over here let's let me open one of the question which is affected to your business service so if i just click on this question does this change the affected or critical business service i can add a uh, uh, details here i have a assessment metric definitions which is critical and i have a value of four somewhat critical is two and not critical is one so i will be you know configuring this form and entirely based on the data which we have so now the use case what i am going to cover here is a use case which 
is you know which is widely accepted so i am a change management i need to add a new question to my risk assessment but the question should only be displayed for if if a category is hardware or a software and it should display in a form of emergency or normal type of change and based on the questions with, with within that form i want my risk to get calculated okay no problem so i will add one more question and the question will be uh, what is the criticality of this um, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this change okay so i will be adding that one question so if i just go to my out of the box uh, risk assessment table now what i will do first step i will just uh, click on the copy button i will copy this risk assessment when this assessment is copied so i will uh, so in the baseline so one another record which is if i go to risk assessment table i have a copy of change risk assessment created okay but before before doing any change to copy of changes assessment first i will open the changes assessment record here i will add two extra conditions which is one category so because i have, i don't want that this assessment to get triggered for uh, hardware because we are uh, creating uh, hardware type okay is not one of i will add hardware and software okay and i will add category here is not one of hardware and software and i will save the form and i will save the form and let let me read on the uh, query here and now it shows 79 records okay now i will open my change risk assessment copy for this uh, already already assessment category got copied changes assessment category that's what we wanted and now we will be triggering this change only for hardware and software so i will give to go to category category is one of hardware software and category is one is one of hardware and software and i will click on and now here i will uh, change the description change risk assessment for hardware and software category for hardware and and let me click on save now when this is get, this get saved this our copy record got saved now only have four records matching this conditions now i will click on edit in assessment designer uh, related link now this is what my current out of the box form look like now for this i will be adding a new form which i also with a new question explain the how critical the changes for the system okay and now i will add our i have added a new question here how critical the changes for the system so this is one of the questions which i have added uh, you can add your own set of questions and you can edit this form now i will click on gear icon and i will click on active and this is a mandatory question and i will say the critical okay i will say the critical uh change i will leave it as name now i will give it a score critical some what critical uh less critical 
let me add these three conditions. And now I will add my three choices here. The critical, I will allocate 11 points. Somewhat critical, I will allocate five points. And less critical, I will allocate six points. So these are the scores. And based on this course, this assessment will get calculated. Okay. Okay. So if my critical is 11, somewhat critical as 5 and less critical as 6. When this is done, let me save the, uh, save and publish. Go to save and publish form. When this got saved, now I will go to change this assessment. Now let me refresh this window. Now I go to assessment threshold. Now I have got the points here. Okay. So based on the points, if critical is for somewhat critical and not critical, and then, you know, we have defined here our own set of is critical, somewhat critical and less critical. Okay. Based on the points, I say that in my, now into my assessment threshold. So inside my changes assessment form, in the related list, related list, I have got assessment thresholds. I will click on new. I say that my risk is high. If it is greater than, I say that, okay, if it is greater than, uh, I say that, okay, if it is greater than, let's say 15. This is for, uh, based on your business requirement. You can uh, uh, make the changes and you can submit the form. Okay, let me create a, again, new within assessment threshold. My risk is moderate. If it is greater than, okay, there we have given 16. I gave here 7. Submit. Now I click on again, new. And I say that, okay, if it is, uh, my risk is low, if my value is greater than 1. Like 1 to 6, I can say. So for 1 to 6, it will be low. For 7 to 14, it will be moderate. And for uh, 15 and greater, it will be high. Okay. So now my I see my uh, risk assessment got created. Now I will go to change. Now testing time. Again, this change applies to only normal and emergency change. And the state should be new SS and authorized change, authorized state. And their category should be one of hardware or software. Okay. So if I just go here, let me click on normal change. And let me see. Let me, you know, have this window over here. How critical the changes is for the system. Now I go here. I select my category to hardware. Okay. And now I just save the form. Okay, now I can see a risk assessment form here. Now, if I just go to risk assessment and I just, you know, refresh the condition. Now I can see my five count because it is a hardware and a type is of and a model is used is normal. Okay, cool. Now, if I just click on risk assessment question and currently the risk is not calculated. If I just click on risk assessment related link, I see my question which I have added here. How critical the changes for the system? is been deflected. Now let me click on critical, somewhat critical, complex, compl somewhat complex. How difficult the change is to revert? Is there a redund uh, redundancy plan in place? You know, how do a better change was uh, moderate? And if I just based on the, if I just submit the button, based on the scores, it will calculate, it will assign this to moderate, high or low. This, uh, the risk will be calculated. If I just submit the form and now it got automatically calculated as high because my based on my scores. Okay, so this is what how I can configure my out of the box risk assessment. But there is a catch. Someone in the interview might ask you that there should be other approach, which is a risk conditions approach. Yes, we do have that. We There is something called as a calculate risk button. You see here calculate risk button. Now, let me open the UI action for both of them and try to understand exactly what this calculate risk is all about. Calculate risk related link is, an, is 
a baseline or a legacy you can say or a post plugin feature that uses this risk condition table and the, when once you click on calculate risk button let me open we bring out this uh match change Calc it can it calculates based on the risk conditions dot underscore list table and where you can define all your risk conditions but some service now has enhanced the feature and they provided us a risk assessment because not every customer every customer need a robust way to calculate risk based on the question answer form so it's up to you like what you want to provide to the customer one of the way where let's say that service now recommend us not to use both at the simultaneously because the risk calculation might differ or it might be redundant or this might uh, you know be the behavior won't be expected it will be, uh, be it won't behavior the behavior of this risk uh, calculation won't uh, won't be up to the mark or the behavior will be uh, quite a redundant okay so as a remediate either use risk assessment or calculate risk so out of the box if you go to ui action And if I just type risk, so I got risk assessment. And if I just show matching on the table, and let's, so we do have a risk condition here. So we have got, if I just uh, calculate with star risk, so I've got risk assessment and calculate risk. Based on that, as an administrator, you might have to activate or deactivate either one of the uh, UI action in your production instance. Okay, so this is what my entire risk and how we can configure risk out of the box looks like. So please do share this my uh, so I will uh, so please do subscribe to my channel for more such videos on risk assessment and uh, change management configuration. Thank you. Have a great day.